Hey, this is Gizmo, and this is a quick look at a brand new app for the iPhone. Um, I'm sure you guys all have used AIM before, but today we're going to show you the new app called Mebo. What you do when you first uh, start the application, you have to sign up for a Mebo account, which kind of like links all your screen names or whatever services that you have. Um, these are all different kinds that you can have. So this is my Gizmo BTV account. Um, this is just Amiibo IM. It's just like you know AIM or Yahoo kind of thing. But I don't really have anybody on there. So I'm going to add an account, and these are all the services you could use with um, with Amiibo. I personally just use AIM, you know, Facebook when I'm on with my friends, that kind of thing. And they even have all these other things that I've never even heard of. So it's pretty cool. They have a whole entire list of different ways to connect with your friends and your buddies. Justin TV, playlist, a lot of stuff I never heard of, you know, Yahoo, MySpace. You know, it's pretty cool. But they keep the most popular ones right here. You could add all your MySpace buddies, you could add all your Facebook buddies and have them all on one list. So I'm gonna do a real quick check. Uh, so I'm going to set up my little AIM account, and uh, next, next, add account. And it shows me my Mebo account, here's my AIM account right here, and I can check and see what's going on. Um, if I want to log in, I can connect it startup. Here's my chats on the bottom. On the bottom, there are three different areas, these are buddies. This will show who's online. I only have one name in this account for right now. Chat's going on right now. Um, I'm also signed on to my PC, so AIM just sent me a message. I could, you know, close out of it. That kind of thing. If I want to close the box, it's gone. Um, accounts takes you back to kind of like the home page where everything is at. You can set your aim expressions you could go here and edit your buddy icon you know add all types of different things it's kinda cool um, makes things a little easier mobile settings it takes you to I guess your cell phone simple aim stuff we don't really need that it's a little built-in browser stuff and that's pretty much the only settings that they have right you know right easy accessible you could also enter um, the settings from your iPhone turn off and on landscape keyboard personally I hate landscape keyboard you could arrange your uh, contacts by network status display name that kind of thing highlight different things show seconds auto capitalization receive an IM sound um, let's see what we got here so we're gonna go back to the app and uh, let's see what we got here so we're signed in I could enter a status message. So my, my Mevo has a little status message just like AIM does. So I'm going to add another account. Let's say I'm going to add Facebook. So it does a little handy pop up thing and I'm going to go through here and set this up. So now it's setting up my account. I've added the account. wait a little and now I have my Facebook account is linked up uh, it tells me my information and I could go back to buddies and then I could go through all here my networks everything with people I work with people in school if I want to message somebody it has a little icon on the right of what who's here and that kind of thing if I want to message my boy Mike send him a little what's up gives it a cool keep the status message up top you can do a chat history little mode icons you could go back to the keyboard with a tap so we're gonna leave that for now go back to buddies and uh, let's see who else who might, who might uh, reply let's see I'll just say hey and wait for something to come up but you could also collapse your little um, 
groups. Facebook, here's my my aim. I'll be like, hey. And I'll get it up on my computer. So I could type back on my computer if this was someone else. They could be like, what's up? How are you doing? So I'll show you what it's like when I hit enter. There you go, you get an instant text response. I also have a response here. My chat's on the bottom. I have my cousin here. And I could reply right back to her. It looks just like your text messaging kind of thing. And uh, keeps everything with icons. Looks really cool. You could do recent. With, uh, hierarchy of who you spoke to last. You could edit them, say I don't want to talk to Mike anymore, hit delete. And uh, close that one. Go back to my list. If I want to go back to my network and see different people I work with, I could do that. <coughs> Facebook's just, I guess, my random uh, type of thing. I got another message. You can see a little preview of the message right here. You can also see that when she's typing, it'll pop up. It works on 3G, Edge, and Wi-Fi. You also have push notifications, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to close out of here and show you what happens when he or she replies back to me. So we'll give it a second. And there you go. You get Amiibo message. And there's another one. Hit view. Gonna take me right back to my account and refresh the messages. So this is a um, pretty cool app. I'm definitely gonna use it to replace my AIM app because this keeps everything, you know, nice and handy and uh, it's very smooth, as you can see. And that's pretty much it. It's a basic app, but it works. That's that's the important thing. You could also sign offline here if I don't want to be on my Facebook. Just hit offline and I'm off. The little green light turns off. I guess I could sign out of here. Sign on to my Amiibo account. It signs me into all my accounts. Which is pretty cool. And it's telling me I'm signed on again. And that's pretty much just a really quick look at what Amiibo can do and uh, hopefully they'll add a couple more features in the future but this is a really cool app. Some of the cool features are links. You have a built-in browser, so you don't have to leave the, the interface to actually check out a link if somebody sends you something. Another cool feature is being able to copy and paste. There you go, copy. If I want to send her the message, I can hit paste. You can look right here and swipe through your, your chats. The little bubbles on the bottom. It's nice to have a free iPhone app where you can talk to anybody. You can talk to your Facebook without even having to log on to Facebook. And it's pretty cool. So check it out. Go to the App Store. Works on your iPod Touch or your iPhone. Get Mebo and let us know how you like it. So it's a pretty cool app. Check it out. Mebo for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Um, yeah, enjoy. This has been another Gizmo video. Please subscribe to our videos, leave a comment, let us know what you want to see reviewed, and uh, we'll get back to it and stay on top of it, and that's about it. Check you later.